Hi, good evening, Wendy. Good evening, Christian, Susanna. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. everybody. Let's just wait for a minute for your classmates. <clears throat> Hmm. Wow. Okay, let's see. I'm sick. Guadalupe Peñate. Okay. Okay. Got it. So uh, tonight we have to continue talking about millennials and how their behaviors influence the job, how their characteristics, you know, what they do influence the job. So it's going to be part of it. For now, let's just begin. Huh. What could we... Let's let's learn something very easy. Uh, Wendy, Christia, everybody here now, while we wait for the others, before we do the attendance. So, there is a very easy way to speak. I think I taught you this before. When you say let, let means the heart, right? Okay. But Americans use this a lot. They say let's, meaning let us. Okay. Okay, give me just a minute. So, let me see if I remove the context. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, so basically the word let by itself implies not let us, but vamos. Okay. Now, you can use let us or let, let's. Don't use let us. You have to always contract this. You can use let with another object pronoun. So you can use let plus an object pronoun. For example, who remembers the object pronouns? Let's start the class. Anybody in the classroom? Who remembers the object pronouns? Object pronouns. So you have subject pronouns. I, we, you, they, he, she, it, right? or something like that. It's seven, right? So out of each subject pronoun, you have one object pronoun. What is it? Just to remind you, object pronouns go at the end of the sentence. So for example, what is an object mm -hmm. pronoun for he? Good evening. Hi, good evening, Jorge. Him. Hem, correct, hem. And always, uh, well, the pronunciation varies at the end. 
for many um, object pronouns. Let him. Okay, what's another object pronoun? Her. Her. Let her. Okay. When I was. Oh, let it. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Uh huh. Let them. Let them. And so on, right? You can say let him. Now. Let us. Let, no. let us, yeah. Which will be different than let's. Okay. Now. You couldn't say let's us talk about it. No. No, no, no. Unless you want to be very specific, but let's by itself in this way means vamos, okay? So there you include us, you and I, or many people and the others. Okay, now let's do some examples of what I want to transmit to you today. After let's, L-E-T apostrophe S, after let's, we would like to use a verb in its base form, okay? As simple as that. Be careful, there is an apostrophe here. Let's go to the beach. Okay, continue. Let me see the movie. Come on, let me see the movie. Let me see the movie. You can say, let me watch, let me see the movie. Come on, let me watch the movie. Let me see the movie. Stop, be quiet, okay, uh-huh. Let him go to school. Let him, let him, let him, let him, let him go to school. Let him go to school. Mm, but go, we already use go. Oh, okay. Let him be the first the first one. Let it be. Let it be first. Let it let him go first. <laughs> let him go first. Let him, let him be the first. Let him be first. Let him be first. Let him be the first on the line. Uh-huh. Okay. Let us speak English a little bit. Let's speak English for a bit. A little bit. Let's speak English for a bit. For Let's a bit. speak English for a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Let's speak English for 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 a little bit. Good, George. Great job. See, this is very simple. You just need let's or let him or let me or let let it, whatever. Let them, let them talk. And then you just add the verb on its base form. And that's it. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let us hear. Oh, that's different. Let it work. Be careful. That is different. Let us listen. It's different. Déjanos escuchar. Ojo, eh? Sin la contracción, es diferente. Vamos a escuchar sería, let's listen. Come on, guys, let's listen. Escuchemos. Let us listen es pedir permiso para escuchar. Déjanos escuchar. Déjennos o déjennos, déjennos escuchar. Let me, Let me? Let me stay. Let me stay. All night. Let me stay all night long. All night long. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. Ah, come on, let me talk to him. You'll see. I, I saw a movie today with um Linus with the mule the mula 
was mm -hmm. really really nice very good movie okay let me talk to him let me look for it let me look for it let's look for it let's look for it let's see let's see let's go let's start let's jump let's eat let's have dinner hey you know what let's have dinners one of these nights okay sure let's dance let's go dancing you see so simple so let's verb in simple form let me pay oh please let me pay it's okay i'll pay let me pay let me pay this time so this is it it is a very simple way to speak do you have any questions Be careful, you cannot use this in past. Let's went now. Uh, let's will go, let's going to, no. Mm, yeah, what about can... the, this juice, teacher? Like, uh, let the chair in the back of the house. No, you couldn't use let, you will need to use leave. Leave. Leave it on the back door. Mm -hmm. Leave it on the back. But the meaning the, of leave is, is the same. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but you use it most of all for objects. Leave me alone. Leave her alone. Let Leave her speak. No, you couldn't say leave her speak. Let her speak. Let is a synonym of allow. Allow something to happen or allow someone to do something. Now, we're referring to let, not let's. Be careful. That's different, okay? <clears throat> leave me alone. Oh, just, just leave it. And that's an expression in English. Just leave it. Okay? Come on, just leave it. That's it. Ya cortala, right? Just leave it. Ya deja la cosa. Have a situation, okay? Just leave it. Just okay? Leave it. It's different to say let it be. Oh, come on, just let it be. Just let it be. Ahí yes, uh, ojo. Just leave it. Es olvidalo, deja el tema, right? Just let it be es como... Deja que ocurran las cosas, right? Don't don't rush, don't push things to happen. Just let it be. Okay. You got it? Let's do the attendance before we move on any further. It's 8.15 almost. So, Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Thank you. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Thank you. Por favor, enciendan las cámaras. Recuerden que este momento es muy importante. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martínez. She's working. Diego Armando López Rivas. Hmm. Ok. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Ok. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Not tonight. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, teacher. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. Excellent. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Oh, good. Thank you. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. Not yet. Norma Carolina. I'm sorry. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Where's Nelson? What's going with that? Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present teacher. Present. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Okay. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Thank you. Give me just a minute. I'm going to text some of your classmates because I'm 
not seeing them very often. Uh, Nelson, most of all. Juan Carlos was here yesterday. But Mario Jose Valle, well, was here the day before yesterday. It's just mainly Nelson, the one that has been absent. Nobody, does anybody work with Nelson? No, teacher. No. Oh, 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 yes, Diana works with her. Okay. Well, he hasn't reported, so let's go. Um, so, any questions about let's? No? Okay, so first dynamic, since this, today is Friday, I will like you to prepare Okay, I would like you to prepare um, a little role play. It's gonna be something just very funny, okay? Just plan a trip. Plan a trip. Let's pretend that we all want to go somewhere in El Salvador, okay? So I'll split you in two groups, maybe, or three. And so you can plan the trip. Now, what is our target language? What is our target language? What is our task right now? Leave let. Use let. Okay, let's, let's. Okay, guys, let's talk about the trip. Let's uh, start by thinking about the budget. Okay, let's talk about money. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Let me see if I have money on my purse. Okay, yeah, I have $50. Let's use this. Let's use this. Okay, and so on, right? Okay, why don't we go to Cerro Verde? Let's go to Cerro Verde. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me borrow my dad's truck. Okay, he has a big pickup, etc. Okay. Questions? <laughs> questions? No questions? So it's gonna be just two groups. Everybody has to talk. Okay. You must speak. Mm, let me just an, analyze this, Susana. Yes, there she is, Wendy. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Let's start. <laughs> this one. Uh, going to... We 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 had to to choose a play maybe first. Uh, the, yes. The dynamic is for. for let's everyone. choose a place. Ah, uh, let's. <laughs> Let's choose a plane, yes. <laughs> For example, to, to go to Lake, uh, Lake, Guatepeque Lake, perdón. you can arrive be a car with a $50 in car. Right like down. Okay. Okay. Uh... Teacher, I, I just want to understand very well. And the dynamic is we need to choose some place and explain about the about the place or, or what. We we had to make a plan we we had to plan the trip. No. Make a role play, we, a conversation. Plan, the trip. plan oh, okay. the trip. Hey, let's go to the lake. Yeah. 
Ah, yeah, okay. But, 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 so Norma said, I think we should go each one on its car and put $50. Let's talk about it. Let's go in one car. I think we fit. How many are we? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're six. Mm, yeah. Let's do it this weekend. Le yeah, that's a great idea. Okay. And et cetera, right? Just let's. Okay. Using the let's. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. <laughs> so... Of course, this same conversation will go in front of the others. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. I yeah. think. Let me think. It's about two hours, maybe. It's not. Two hours. Yes, two hours. Is it not? Huh? Sorry. From San Salvador. Yes, two hours from San Salvador. Okay. Uh, you have to pass by Mercedes Umaña and also by by Berlin to to arrive at the Alegria Lake. And inside the municipio is Alegria Lake. Lake, yeah. Um, and that lake, uh, our restaurant or only view? Uh, the, there are a lot of restaurants, but I remember the chicharrones was were so good. And the and the, and the price, the it price, has, the price is a small. I've got the Peque Lake. It's similar. Uh, no, it's. Uh, it's smaller than Guarapeque okay. Lake, but it's, it's, it's beautiful, the place. The okay. place is beautiful. Remember that what you're doing is a dialogue, is a role play. So let's start just giving sentences, right? Hey, let's go to Guarapeque Lake. Yeah, that's, that's a good place. Let me see what's the next date. Let's go this weekend. This weekend is what? This weekend is the 25th. February 25th. Oh, I couldn't go. Let's go another date. What about next weekend? Let me see. Let's check. Everybody, check your agenda. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, let's go next weekend, which will be the 4th and the 5th. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Let's go to the lake then. Let's have some money, okay? Uh, let's go on Jorge's pickup. That's that's big, and we are one, two, three, four, five. We're five, so yeah. You see? Let us. <laughs> okay, yeah, let, go ahead and do it. Okay, thank you for the advice, and we need to use more than let's. Okay, Mario or Diana, do you want to to continue with the light dialogue? Okay, so we have the 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 pickup. Five people. We have to buy snacks for the travel. It's two hours. Okay, let let me let me check the the disponib the disponibility. Because uh, I'm not sure if I had to do uh, something with my with my sister. Let me check. I'm going to tell you what what weekend. Let me day. Think, uh, the next weekend. What day? Uh, let me ask to Diana if if she has she want to to go with us. Diana, are you there? Let, let me know if you are there. 
tengo dos. El dos de ciclo de vidrio viene en rosa y amarillo. Pero ya lo sabías. No. Maybe Diana is not there. Okay. Sorry, she's working. Ah, okay. Uh, if we we uh, take the the ideas and we are agree, we can visit it on. Uh, if we take the ideas of, and we okay. agree. Are you agree? No, if we take the the ideas and we agree. If I take the ideas. If we take the ideas take and the ideas. we agree. And we uh, okay, and we agree, we can visit it. But it's like but it's, uh, I think that it, it, it's a role play. Maybe in the role play you can say that and maybe for example i can say uh, i don't I, I don't think so that place because we need a lot of things to go to the hospital uh, because you need a it's cool a pickup a big pickup i don't know four by four uh, it's too too cold um and i don't like I don't know. Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I think uh, there are many other places. Yes. Let's go another place. Okay, <laughs> I agree. No problem. Well, what uh, is your uh, teacher? Uh, how do you how do you say it? Hey, uh, ¿Qué propones? ¿Qué lugar propones? Mm, I, I would like to, to go to Monte Cristo. Ok. Ok. But the, but the can... weather is, is the same. No. No, it's, no. it's, it's different. It's, it's more hot. <laughs> okay. Yes, the, the hospital is too cold. Ok. Uh, Monte Cristo but, is... Then, Oh, and where is location? Where is located this this uh, park? In Aguachapan. In Aguachapan. No, Monte Cristo is in, no. in Metapan. Is in Metapan. It is oh, okay. is in Metapan. Uh, yes, because I uh, there is other, but you you need to in the for or by Frontera El Poi. I don't remember the name. Is uh, yeah. in the Monte Cristo is the uh, um Trifinio uh yes. El Salvador uh, Guatemala, Guatemala. 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 Yes. Yes. And how much how how much is how much is is it uh, by by person? Mm, I'm not sure if you want to pass mm -hmm. the night there. You pay like six dollar okay. per person to to camp oh, okay. for camping in the okay. place. Norma, what do you think about this planet? I'm on the crystal. Um, I think you can observe. I uh, enjoy a lot of vegetation, 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 a uh, very pleasant climate, climate. Uh, you can arrive in all the uh, car. You can pay for a stay uh, the one or two days to enjoy. Yes. Monte Cristo. And I think uh, I prefer visit Monte Cristo because in our way we can visit also um, 
aqua park, I think, and and we and we can do a lot of activities like rafting, and and we let's do. I I can say let's do. <laughs> Teacher, can I say let's do? Of course. Okay. It's just let's with the base verb. Okay. No, but I, 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 my question is if correct, let's do. Yeah, let's do something. Yeah. Okay, and we can, and we can let's, and we let's do uh, another oh, activity. The subject, you don't need we. Just let's do other activities. And let's, oh, okay, and let's do uh, uh, other activity, outdoor activity. And other, for me, it's. activities. And for me, it's really, it's really nice. Awesome. What about? The... I agree because it's. Okay, okay. Hey, Jorge. Hello, teacher. Are you working with a lot of kids? No, why? I'm just wondering. I mean, are there teenagers in your job? Uh, no, actually, I'm, I'm almost the younger. Oh, really? <laughs> that's odd. That's, that's weird. Yeah. Hmm, that's rare, I should say, or odd for nowadays culture in El Salvador. At but least... remember, we we are like the client in in this project. We are the client. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, besides, there are supervision and constructors, but we are the client. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it, got it. No, I, I was just wondering because that's the ninth topic. And uh, Dom, the Dom, the Dirección de Obras Municipales, they have a lot of kids working right now. They actually offer some sort of diplomado, mm -hmm. okay, a diplomate for you to be um, working with them. And that's yes. only for teenagers. Yes, because this kind of, of work, uh, you need to take mobility and go to many, many places to, to see the, the work and check the, the construction and everything, construction, the, the quality and the quantities, mm -hmm. everything. Good. Okay. Good job. So who wants to start? Uh, Carlos Alfredo's group or Jorge's group? Maybe Carlos wants. <laughs> Maybe we can start. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, action. Hey, hi guys. A long time to see you. We had hey, to. <laughs> ah, very good. We had to go. We had to go out uh, some somewhere. What to propose? I don't know. Uh, Manuel, what do you have something in mind? Uh, okay, guys. Uh, uh, good evening. Yes, for sure. Oh, I always uh, have wanted to visit to visit uh, El Pital, Cerro El Pital. Because uh, I I I watch I watch in, in TV that it's a funny it's, uh, it's a funny place and you can enjoy of of uh, the weather, right? Uh, but I I don't know if you are are agree with my proposal. 
really you you wanna go to El Pitan? Uh, it's too cold, I think. Um we need a lot of things to to go there because we need a, a pickaxe and um, in El Pital is it's too cold. I don't like I don't like that place. Um, I don't know. I prefer other place. Okay, no problem. Um, uh, you can decide. What about the the rest of the uh, bodies? Uh, I would like to go to Monte Cristo. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, permit. <laughs> I don't know. Let's permission about uh, uh, the the other uh, partners. What they think? What do you think, Grisha? Um, I'm agree with Carlos. I I want to go to Monte Cristo, but let me see if Norma and Susana and Silvia and Maria Elena <laughs> wants to go. Um, I don't know, Norma. What do you think? I think I like uh, more uh, Cuatepeque Lake because <laughs> yes, because I go with uh, forty dollars. Uh, you can. Uh, arrive in the Cuatepeque Lake, like, and I have a lunch there with ten dollars. You can have a lunch, a fish, rice, salad with a beautiful view of uh, uh, Cuatepeque Lake. You can go depending on the group or sedan car, or you are more rented a minibus. You can eat when you just arrive, and the viewpoint where food in shipper and continue to the lake, there are different resta restaurants with different prices. The food is delicious, but about all a spectacular, a spectacular view, especially when the lake change from the color uh, to turquoise, to, I don't know, turquesa. <laughs> um, you can also rent a, a jet ski and spend a pleasant moment with your group. I prefer Guatepeque Lake. I'm so <laughs> nice. I think let's do a lot of activities. And what about Maria Elena? I prefer let let go Monte Cristo because my troubles skins remembers. Okay. And you, Sylvia? Mm, I agree with you and visit to the Monte Cristo because it's more easy to arrive and it's very uh, cheap, the trip. Okay. Okay. I think, I we, I, I, I think we choose Monte Cristo. Let's go. Let's That's go. My <laughs> Let's go. When the next... The next week or the next month? Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go tomorrow, remember, tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. Okay. Okay, okay bye. Bye. That's it. <laughs> Nobody said, let's invite a teacher. My God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go, um, teacher. <laughs> I know I love cold. I love the cold weather, not the heat. I mean, today was yesterday and today it's been really hot in the afternoon at noon in the afternoon. But the morning was very cold. Yes. And in the Monte Cristo also is the, wait, the wait. weather is at is cold. Monte Cristo. At Monte Cristo, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. and the weather is 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 delicious for me. Yeah, and, it's at night, and it's beautiful. It's yeah. It's colder. It's colder. At night, it's colder. Manuel, remind me on Monday, I have to prepare comparatives and superlatives for Monday, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what you guys said. Great job. 
a long time no see you. Mm -mm. Man, Carlos, long time no see. How are you? I uh, can complain. Long time no see. Really, I heard you got married. Yeah, yeah. And then I got divorced. <laughs> so, okay. And I got married again. Okay. I'm very happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got married. I got divorced. Then I got married again. Okay. We have to go out somewhere. Let's go out somewhere. Let's go out somewhere. I don't know if you are agree. Vamos a corregir esto de una sola vez. Do we agree? I agree. Do we agree? Do we all agree? Do you agree? Or do you disagree? Hmm. No, I disagree. What about you, Carlos? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So we all agree. Good. No verb to be. No se necesita el verbo to be. Eh, todos cometemos ese error. No hay verbo to be. Se ocupa con el do cuando es necesario. Agree? Agree. Mira, agree. Agree. A veces es como que dijéramos, estamos todos de acuerdo. Exactly. Ah, okay. And the same thing, let's agree. Let's agree. Okay. Let's agree to disagree. Acordemos no estar de acuerdo. Okay, let's agree to disagree. Acordemos no estar de acuerdo. Okay, so ni vos ni yo. Eso es un dicho también, eh. Let's agree to disagree. Uh, I prefer other place, another place. Other, plural, another, singular. Don't forget that. Uh, to participate. Let's let the other partners participate. You don't need the two. Let me rewrite it. Let's allow the other partners participate. Let's allow the other partners participate. To participate, wait a minute. Let's allow the other partners to participate. Let's let the other partners to participate. To participate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the preposition, sorry. So my point there was you can either say let's let or let's allow, okay? Both options, because you didn't find, no podía encontrar a Mario uh, Emanuel como, como decir eso. <laughs> so it's let let or let's allow. Either one. Uh, when the lake change color, when lake changes color, third person. I prefer let's go to Monte Cristo. Okay. I prefer to go to Monte Cristo. Y esperando el lenguaje meta era, let's go to Monte Cristo. I prefer Monte Cristo. I love Monte Cristo. Let's go to Monte, Monte Cristo. And let's visit Monte Cristo, not to the Monte Cristo. Let's visit Monte Cristo. Okay? So, de nuevo la tarea ahí, ¿verdad? Have, love, need, want, hate, I have to, I love to, I need to, I want to, I hate to, uh, and that's it. Need um, necessity verbs, necessity verbs, necessity verbs. So if you have any of this, oh, I'm missing the most common one. Like, so if you use any of these verbs, si ocupas cualquiera de estos verbos, si lo que sigue a ese verbo va a ser un objeto, no una acción, Si es un objeto, no necesitas poner la preposición to. ¿Ok? Come on, let's twist again. No, let's do the twist again. Dice la canción algo así. Let's do the twist. Ahí sí, let's do the twist. Um, let's have fun. Let's have fun. Um, I like pupusas. I have pupusas. ¿Ok? I love pupusas. I need pupusas. I want pupusas. 
I hate pupusas. I'm on a diet. You got it? I like something else. I like to eat pupusas. I want to eat pupusas. I have to eat pupusas. I need to eat pupusas. <laughs> you got it? So, any of the verb two, if it is a verb. A ver, ¿quién me explica lo que acabo de explicar en 10 segundos? Súper rápido. Para que los que no han entendido entiendan. Súper rápido, español. Mute. <laughs> que cuando haya un verbo seguido de estas palabras si es con la acción, si sí tiene que llevar el, la preposición tú uh -huh. pero si yo digo, me gustan las pupusas solo I like pupusas I love chocolate ya yeah. exacto, y cómo le dice su esposa Manuel eh, trae las tortillas <ríe> no, ocupando los verbos ah. I love you, le dice. ¿eh? I love you. Of course. Okay. I love you. Yo todavía, todavía después de 15 años le digo, I like you. I like you. Me cae bien. <laughs> Wendy. Ok. La de Shrek vi ahí. <laughs> ok, let's continue with um, the second group. Remember. Use let. Hey, let's go somewhere. Hey, let's do this. One, two, three, action. Okay. Um, come on, come on, guys. Okay. Let's do a. Okay. Let's do a trip. Uh, I okay. let me recommend you some place like uh, Alegrías Lake to change to change the the same place that. <laughs> Okay, uh, when is that doing in the weekend or the other, other weekend? Uh, let me check my schedule, but I, and let me ask about <laughs> what let it for the, no, sorry, uh, this weekend or other weekend? Let me check. Um, I prefer the next weekend. Next weekend. Okay, okay let me ask you permission. <laughs> me too. <laughs> In my work. What, what let what let go? In car in let, let me check in car, if my in bus. let me check if my truck is available to to go to the Alegría Lake because we need a, a big truck for that trip that is uh, two hours from San Salvador. Oh, okay. Is a, a dri driving or is a let let um, let come on, let in sing. In bus, in bus, excursion, excursion. In bus, or... <laughs> in excursion. No, it, it's better if, if we get the my my car. Ah, uh, in your car. Oh, in your car. If it's available for that day, uh, but uh, let let me know if the other partners can can go with us. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, okay. We can enjoy somewhere and to eat. Uh, let me check. Oh, yes, I, I remember there are many restaurants when you can buy a lot of a lot of kind of food, especially I recommend the chicharrones. Ah, okay. What let what let eat for the breakfast? Um, let me think about that. I we can go to Berlin, that is near to Ale Alegria Lakes. Um, they they can prepare something special for 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 us. Yeah. Okay. Can we can we swimming in the lake? Uh, 
I consider I consider no because the water is is with a sufferer. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> you can on get the <laughs> on the sea, the lake. <laughs> you can get uh, a disease in your skin or illness in your skin. Okay. But, but let me ask the doctor if it's possible to to take a shower in that in that in that lake. Let me ask to Mario Villeda if he can go with us. Yes, I can go to next week. Uh, I charge the snacks. What do you want? Uh, okay, there are a space for you, especially Mario. Okay, thanks. I will let, let me know if you want to to invite the teacher or not. Yeah, of course. We can. We, we can. He do, can you, do you agree with that? Or yeah, yeah, we can join us. Why? I, I'm not sure. Let me let me ask to the other classmates. Maybe uh, visit uh, uh, to a uh, near is a new place and the Mirador de Cristal. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Oh, okay, it's interesting. It's up to you, but because the the place is near to to Alegría, is uh, is I is in Berlin. Berlin that is near to Alegría. Okay. It's near to Alegría. It's near to Alegría. Ah, ah, okay. Okay, maybe. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. The... Let's go. With the teacher. I want to go with you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. See you next weekend. Next weekend. <laughs> so am I invited? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Hey, it's great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That was really good, actually. It's great when you have someone who knows the place, right? Who knows the location and everything. And, and they know the, the tienditas and everything, you know, and where you can get nice cheese or whatever things right on the little town it, it's that's beautiful when you go like that is amazing but if you go along <laughs> right, what, what, you go asking people right media right <laughs> i don't know why but when I, I i'm like that i start talking like someone else that's unrespectful sometimes but I don't know, it's just in me. And I do the same in English. So, yes. I, I, attention, I agree with you. It, what? It, it's better when there are somebody to know that, that place. Is... That, know, that knows the place, yes. Because the, your trip is all set. You know where to go. So you don't spend more gas. You don't spend time. You just go straight. To where you want to go excellent great job alegría i heard a lot about that um nice place. yeah estoy tra trabajando susana a identificar su área de oportunidad porque tiene una muletilla de is a is a entonces de hecho estaba revisando unos videos ayer para, para identificar eso porque yo lo tomo como un reto cuando noto que, que hay una área de oportunidad ahí que es bien recurrente trato de entender ¿se acuerdan del primer video que les envié del profesor español? ¿sí? enseñar desde el cerebro del que aprende, o sea ¿por qué hace lo que hace? ¿por qué dice lo que dice? estoy tratando de entender entonces luego vamos a abordar eso y hay que analizarlo un poco para Ahora, para quitar cualquier muletilla, no hay nada mejor que la tarea. ¿Sí? Wendy les puede decir. Wendy está haciendo su tarea todos los días casi. Y pues, así se empieza para mejorar. Ok. 
Let's continue. We can enjoy somewhere to eat. This was a question. Christia, how do you make this question? We can enjoy somewhere to eat. Uh, can you repeat, please? Exactly. You start with Ken. Okay. <laughs> Ken? Excellent. Good job, Christia. <laughs> okay. Okay, Super rápido. Can... <risas> Siempre ubíquense cuando quieran hacer una pregunta. ¿Dónde está el auxiliar de este abuelado? Todas las reglas gramaticales empiezan las preguntas cerradas con el auxiliar que estoy ocupando. En este caso es un modal. Can we enjoy somewhere to eat? Mm, aún falta, ¿eh? Can we stop somewhere to eat? I I had a I had a cousin, he passed away, but I had a cousin <laughs> who was very funny. He used to drink too much, you know. But he used to work for Cigarrería Morazan, Jorge. And he used to drive from San Salvador to San Suntepeque very often. The problem was that he was fat. And Many times I traveled with him. Alex is, was his name, and he used to drive. And suddenly I used to look at him, and he was like this. <laughs> I know. I with that. with his saliva on uh, here, right? I was like, what the? Hey, negro. And he was like, what? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Estás cansado los ojos? You know, mm -hmm. Man, the, sometimes so so long. Oh my God, I was I used to get scared. But I used to love one thing. When he was happy and everything, he used to go, "Hey, do you want to eat something?" And I was like, "Yeah, let's eat something." So we used to stop, but I don't know where. I want to go to Sesuntepeque just to find the place where we used to eat. It was a, an old like, house. I don't know if it was San Vicente or what, but. It was a very old house near to a gas station. And they... San they Rafael Cedros. Yes. Yes, that's the name, San Rafael Cedros. Man, eggs, bacon, beans, cheese, cream. Oh, my God. It was so delicious and so cheap. Yes. Mercedes is the name of, the, of that place. No, yeah. really? Yes, I want to go there. Once I repair my car, I'm going to start traveling around with my kids. In TikTok. And, and, my, <laughs> and my dog. You know what? I'm going to make an account on TikTok. That's a good idea. So, yeah, yeah. that's a great place. Thank you, Razan, Rafael, Cedros. What What do you say, Car Carmen? Jorge? Mercedes. Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes, uh, Mercedes uh, Cedros. Oh, the, no, no, no. The, the no, restaurant. No, no, no. Please. Okay. Okay. Good. Is it oh, run on a sorry. conversation, I think? <laughs> send it to the group. Hold on. <laughs> I wanted to send it to my significant other just to keep it in record. Okay. So, uh, can we stop somewhere? Hey, can we stop somewhere to eat? Let's stop somewhere to eat. And there it is. Can we swim in, in the lake? Somebody? Maybe. No, we can. It's just that you miss the excitement, no. you know. You miss the excitement. Because here, Susana was supposed to say, hey, let's swim in the lake. No, we can. There is sulfur. Mm. How do you say azufre? Sulfur, I didn't know. Azufre, okay. sulfur. Okay, sulfur, sulfur. Yes, I can go to next week. The next week. I can go next week. I can go next week. Next week. You, you don't need, de nuevo, ¿no? Verbo, no necesito la preposición tú, porque lo que sigue no es un verbo. Ojo, eh. Yes, I can go next week. Let me ask if could to invite to the teacher, exactly the way you said it. Let me ask if we could invite, could invite the teacher. Después de los modales viene un verbo en su forma base. Okay, if we could invite the teacher. And to, uh, Again, 
un error común, y lo voy a decir en español, perdón, pero las cosas importantes estoy procurando decirlas en español porque hay muchos que... Um, seguimos con esto, ¿no? So, near, after... Oh, the pronunciation, Jorge, is not ne near, it's near, near. Yeah. near. Pero un error muy común es después de esa de ese near preposition to. of place, después de ese preposition of place, no necesito el tú. Ojo. Near alegría. Near my house. You know, it's near the dollar city, you know. It's near the supermarket. Ojo. Close to. Y eso es lo que pasa, que como near es similar a close, mm -hmm. close. en cambio con close sí se ocupa el to. I'm close to, uh, I mean, uh, that is close to Dollar City. Mm -hmm. That is close to the supermarket. Got it? Got it. Okay. So let's move on. Tonight. Tonight. Again, how millennials characteristics influence the workplace. So I have a funny story for you. Uh, as I told you yesterday, I have been a job hopper. I've been a job hopper for the last, oh my God, wait, 15, I can do the math, 15, 18 years. For 18 years, I've been jumping, you know, hopping, hopping. It's not hoping, it's hopping. I've been hopping around jobs. Mm. And I remember one of the jobs that I got was uh, as an interpreter for a company named um, Cognizant. Cognizant. It, it was called um, Heliocentric, but then they were absorbed by a major company called Cognizant. It's just um, interpreting services and transportation services. This was before Uber and in driver. So in the United States, if you have a medical appointment, and listen, you are Russian, Chinese, German, Spanish, you know, Latin American, any other uh, nationality that is not Native American, then you need an interpreter. So people used to call and go like, hey, I need an interpreter for this and this date. Okay, cool. Now, what I want to tell you is that in that job, there was an old man. There was a very old man. He was like 60 or 65. And the rest of us were millennials. Oh, no, there was another lady, another lady like 60, 70 years old. And they were the only old people in the floor, in the floor. So we used to call him old school. It goes separated, I'm sorry. Old school. What does that sound like? Hey, old school. What do you understand by that term? Viejito, la vieja escuela. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> exactly. So, Matusalén, right? <laughs> Man, but you know what? He was very funny. When he got upset, he arrived to the job and he didn't say good morning to nobody. He was grumpy. I was like, hey, what's up, old school? Yeah. Okay, good morning to you. He was just grumpy. That was really weird. So, but he was very funny. He was all the time laughing and everything and he was very strong. So he used to, he used to get along with us, with the millennials, with the kids, you know. So that kind of people is the one that fits in the call center. The other lady who was older. She didn't like to talk. She didn't like to talk to nobody. But if there was a gossip, she took it seriously. She used to go around asking, oh my God, mira lo que dijo aquella niña de usted que no sé qué. So that was kind of weird, to be honest with you. So, millennials, 
we influenced on previous generations and the jobs. How? You have to, how can I say this? I was about to say a grocery, I'm sorry, a, a bad word, but it's, it's because the only way you can fit in a call center is being open-minded. That's the word. You know, you have to be very funny, very energetic, get along with everybody, you know, be friendly. That's all. Why? Why is that? Well, there are five, there are ways um, in which millennials are affecting the workplace, have changed the workplace. Uh, who remembers one characteristic of the previous jobs, you know, like in the old, old school jobs? What was one requ requirement for men, for men and women, actually? What was one very, very notated requirement for any office job? The presentation, the good looking or? You got it. How do you say that? The presentation, somebody? No? The feel, feeling, no. No, 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 you, you got it, you got it. But there's a way to say it. It's called the dress code. Dress code. Dress code. Oh, this is a very important word, Diana, Mario. Uh, no, Mario is not here, the other Mario. I, uh, so why? Um, oh, Chris as well. On the, sometimes airlines have requirements and they, the travel agencies actually must inform the passenger before he goes to the airport. Sir, if you travel with American Airlines, there's a dress code, which is casual, okay? It's casual, no shorts, no sandals. You can wear polo shirts and jeans, but you must wear a belt, for example, okay? Or you can wear formal dress code. It's okay. It's the dress code. What else was very remarkable on, on jobs before millennials, let's say. The be polite, be polite. Oh be, be my polite. God, manners, manners. In fact, there, there used to be banners, right? Everywhere saying, mind your manners. I'm sorry, mind your manners with an S at the end. What is this? Mind your manners? Thinking. Yeah, but how can I never, I have trouble translating these words. Mind your manners. Mind your manners. Uh-huh. Cuida tus modales. Uh -huh. Algo así como cuida tus modales, right? Yeah. Hey, mind your manners. And I, I tell this my kid, to my kids, you know, mind your manners. And they go like, if they have their elbows, on the on the table, they're eating like this with their elbows on the table. That's not right. Or if they're eating with their hands, I don't like them eating with their hands, you know. I don't know why. So those kind of things. So mind your manners, dress code. Oh, one thing in the office. Right? Everybody, everybody was quiet. Sometimes somebody used to stand up, you know, not talking during office hours and so on. It was so serious, right? So, I don't know, too professional maybe? Okay. What changed? Can somebody describe its workplace nowadays? <laughs> How is your workplace? Millennials are out of control. Really? There, there, there were uh, a short to go to a job, maybe. I think that is the pen of the of the company. Oh, oh, oh. let's change the pen for up to again. I think it's up to the company. Uh huh. It's up to the company. What about line of business? It's up to the line of business, Christian. Uh huh. I think it's up to the line of business, you know, because because Christia, continue the idea. That's a great idea. 
Why? Why is it up to the line of business? Um, I think if you if you work in a in a little company like a, a you made a video games or like or something like that, you have a a, a free dress code, or maybe in a call centers, uh, you you have a, a free dress code. But our companies with the that is a requirement have a a, a good presentation and good looking for for the company because they are the face of the company exactly you know about this christian but what is the line of business that demands perfection on the dress code and the appearance of women most of all what is the line of business that demands that the from airline? employees mm -mm. It's not an airline. Chris, you may know. Um, makeup? Banks? No. Makeup? Uh, yeah, do you know what? Banks? Uh, no. No. I've seen fat guys and fat women in, at banks. Maybe a, a buffet of lawyers. <laughs> yeah, but there are not too many women. And this mm -hmm. job, on this line of business that I'm, I want you to guess, is most of all women. And it's exactly the reason you said, Kirsha. They are the face of the company. Um, the receptionist. Uh -uh. No, <laughs> the personal airline. Sil Silvia, okay, let's talk about flight attendants. Okay, Silvia is right. Yeah, flight attendants. It's it's a priority. It's a requirement, a very important requirement to be young, to be tall, and to speak other languages. You have to be handsome and beautiful. You know that that's a requirement. But there's another line of business in ground, on the ground. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me think. <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me tell you let me tell you uh marketing offices publicity oh, yeah. publicity in case you didn't know if you are over 30 years old they won't hire you i don't care if you have the experience if you have worked in the best marketing company or the best publicity company in, in el salvador but if you will go to the interview after 30 years old most likely you won't get the job, okay? It, that's a true fact. That is a true fact. I have some people, uh, you know, working there. Oh, no, it's just to look to the hand. Mm. Sorry. Don't you think that's true, right? Your face is very important. Okay, I wish there were filters in real life. Can you imagine arriving at work in the morning and your boss tells you, Crisia, que fea, que fea, se ve. Oh, wait, boss. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Let me put the filter. <laughs> let me put the filter. Oh, filter, yeah. <laughs> filter 30. Oh, no, that's too much. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me go back. 20. Chinese filter. <laughs> Chinese filter. Oh, my God, that's crazy. Have you seen the makeup? The makeup videos from Chinese women? Yes, it's a, 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 I don't know, an impression. And I don't know. Oh my God, my God. The transformation God. is incredible. That's another topic, but oh my God, <laughs> that's a heavy topic. Let's see, men. Manuel, Carlos, Mario, and Jorge. Do you know who is the owner of Miss Universe? Donald Trump. No, Manuel, I thought that way too. I thought that too. Man, that, that's I oh. I watched in in a um, not it's a, in, um, a video. Uh, it's a I don't know Filipina or Thailandia, Filipina. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a it's a woman. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> Uh, I agree with Manuel. I have heard that too. It's a woman. It's okay. a woman, yes. 
Okay, Mario, do you know? No? Okay, and that's millennial world. We accept everything. So homework for Jorge, Manuel, Carlos, and Mario. And girls, if you don't know, go Google it. Who is the owner of Miss Universe? It's crazy. The world is crazy. And I mean, we have changed uh, the workplaces in many ways. Continuing with the story, we now have cafeterias. It's not just the coffee at the entrance of the job for customers. It used to be coffee for customers. Be careful, not for employees. Now we have a breakout room, and that's the name, the same that we do here, breakout rooms. You can sleep, you can watch TV, you can eat something delicious, you can buy ice cream, you can play pool with your friends on your break, and so many things. Um, the, that's the owner of Miss Universe is Anne Kakraputai. That tip. Continue, type continue of, reading. Continue reading. Don't say it. Transgender business person. Mm -hmm. Miss Universe organization gives. It's a trans. <laughs> yeah. Interview with Goa. She's a, and she's beautiful. Kakrahuta <laughs> tip. Yes. Philippines names are so complicated so complicated even more than some hindu names but yeah shocking shocking i thought it was a woman but then I, my wife my wife was like no i he learned some, something today teacher so you in the next week can ask about what we learned the last week <laughs> yes that was a good question and the world is changing i mean what can we do you can, oh man, oh my God. Well, there's a lot of stories to say about that. A transgender is the owner. Yeah. Crazy, man. And I think he will allow, or she will allow, I'm sorry, she will allow uh, transgenders on the contest. I think that's the plan. That's the idea. God saves us. Okay. So, did you know, Christia? No. No, that's shocking, right? That's yeah. <laughs> it's it's unusual. I mean, it's I don't know, I don't know. It's just unusual, I shall say. But anyhow, let's see. So up next, continuing, we have uh, some ways millennials are changing the workplaces. Five different ways. I am just going to as split you one more time we are 12 so i believe we can do trios i mean yeah we should be able to do trios but i don't know if we will let me see manuel marilena mario and wendy okay christia diana then is working norma and sylvia okay carlos jorge and susana okay so yes we can do trios or fours i'll divide you i will split you and we have five different topics just read them, take turns, take turns to read how millennials have changed the workplace. I'll send you the link here and on the WhatsApp. Just read aloud for your classmates. Is that clear? That's clear. Yeah. This is very simple. Okay. It's very short. It's not the big deal, but please understand and debate. Okay, debate with your classmates.
¿Ya se metieron ahí? Yes, yes. We are ready. Ahí está. I'm ready. Cinco caminos. Cinco formas. Ah. Cinco. Find your degree. ¿Y eso de arriba donde dice find your degree? No, es a as. <laughs> Just as. Uh -huh. No, you can. Cinco. Five ways to be changing. Y ese ya lo entré. Ah, dice, como los baby boomers. Uh -huh. Hay que leer todo sí. eso, los cinco. Ah, Listo, ok. Los okay. negritos. Ajá, in bold. Luego okay. los discutimos. Ok. Los cinco tenemos okay. que leer. Los cinco hay que leer y luego lo, hay que tra tratar de entenderlo y luego vamos a debatir. ¿Qué pensamos? Ahí? Ah, ah okay. Okay. ok. Ah, de todo eso. Pero sí. leamos lo de, de todo, digo yo, para que entendamos o no. Oh, no sé. Ajá, teacher, say aloud. Okay, en voz alta. Dice, millennials are all about transparency. Okay. Todo okay. acerca de la... ¿Cómo es? Lea, léalo, pues. Léalo. Transparency in the workplace. Transparency in everything from... Va, pero di, ¿qué significa eso? Millennials are all about transparency. Transparencia. In, in everything from politics to the workplace, millennials represent a significant portion of, of the workforce and their increased increase demand for transparency from the management and executive the department of the company they work for has produced significant results. Millennials want into interconnectivity so go the company they work for so everyone is kept informed and no one is Bling, bling side, bling side by change. Okay, the remote workplace phenomenon. A no, pero number si of... quiere vayamos como como discutiendo algo uno por uno porque si no... when it should then resulting in higher degree of productivity and work engagement. 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 Okay. Experience over degrees. Millennials, despite being all one of the best educated generation currently living, also carry the most college debt of any other generation. Subsequently, they have come to see college degrees in a different light that, than that of their forebears. Nice but not critical. Millennials in management positions are much more likely to recruit based on skills, experience, and established results than they are to hire someone on the basis of a college degree. Work-life balances. Millennials work to life. They don't live to work. Millennials in the workplace except expect that their work will not take over their en entire lives, that they will not be expect expected to stay late with no compensation, that their management will give them the tools they need to achieve the task. They must find enough finish during the workday and that when the workday is over they will punch the clock and be on their way. This is also part of the reason many millennials choose the, to work remote remotely. They can cobble together a number of projects that provide meaningful 
work and in addition can choose greater freedom over financial reward rewards that may or may not come with working in the way that they force bears did. Okay. Technological adaptation. Millennials are extremely rich, baby. The has most of them were born shortly before the di di digital age. They are more likely than any other generation to be early adapters of technology, service, and products, and use a wide range of tools to communicate, to organ organize and achieve goals and to complete tasks. Millennials are leading the technological connection movement in the workplace where inside company, companies can be well connected without even even needing to be in the same building or even the same city or country. Company led the Gen X and millennials are this millennial in the workplace. As the baby boomers retire, Gen Xers and millennials are becoming the new face of company match management and business practice. Millennials have had a profound influence on the way work is done and businesses is conducted all over the world, from shorter work hours and less unpaid overtime to company where likes free gym memberships in office snack bars and even nap pods to help boost productivity during daytime work hours as the businesses were navigated the 21st century millennials in the workplace are at the helm here are five ways millennials are changing the workplace. Okay. Okay. Now it's supposed to, we have to uh, discuss or debate about it. The five, the five uh, changes or no, the five ways. That millennials. five ways that millennials are changing the the workplace. Okay. In my in my case, um, I like uh, this uh, this way work life balance. Uh, millennials work to live; they don't live to work. I think that. Um, that uh, is a big problem for a lot of people because um, most of the time um, in the companies uh, or absorb all your time because we work we get at, for example, at, at 6 a.m. and we had to prepare for for having uh, having breakfast and then we have to to go to work and so uh, when you realize uh, it's maybe you return to to your home at six or seven and you are tired i don't know and 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 after you connect into class. And then you have to connect. <laughs> and you don't have you don't have a, a, a life balanced. And I think that is something good. And if millennials are promoting uh, that way, I think it's good. Um I would like to to work um in remote work i don't know if i am a millennial but i i i have been in some company that um you waste all your time your day 
they the the bosses want want you to be in the play in the place all day uh, until um definitely six seven and and I think that is bad it's bad um, uh, every everybody needs they are a workaholic person hmm? they are work workaholic person uh -huh, yes and maybe a, a people that has a company he can be in the company all day and all that night but he's making a lot of money but the employees just yes. has uh, yes the, but the there salary. is no equilibrium in her in her in his life maybe uh -huh, yes the there life. is no balance in in their life but uh, but they can because uh, if they maybe if they work a lot they are going to make a lot of money but imagine a, an employee if an employee work more and he he hasn't or you know, he's not going to be rich or he's not going to earn more money so uh, and uh, at peor si no les no les compensan ok si sí, no los compensan correcto ellos administran ah, pues si no hay dudas soy milenio <risa> ellos administran Entonces, el ellos sí pueden estar digamos en el trabajo más tarde pero tiene que ser recompensado pero no es que se va a estar solo como que matando y que no les van a compensar ah, yes. okay. <risa> okay. Okay. <risa> veamos el otro tecnológica tecnológica el teacher is a millennial right teacher ¿Cómo? the teacher is a millennial because he works at home yes. <laughs> is millennial tecnológica digo que tenía for for one ajá uh -huh. uh -huh. millennial are technological teacher technological adaptation or technological technological adaptation adaptation okay thank you okay you can read it uh, wendy okay millennials are extremely tech savvy as most of them were born shortly before the digital age they are more like likely likely than any other generation to be early adapters of techno technological service and products and use a wide range of tools to communicate tools to communicate, to organize and archive goals and to complete tasks. Millennials are leading, leading the te technological connection, government no, move, move, movement in the workplace where in here in their company can be well connected without even needing to be in the same building or even the same city or country. Companies led by, by gender and millennials are whole markets by heavy uses of technology and innovation to make for workflow smoother and team integration we are done are you sure? I think yes. We debate. We I debate. Th 
think so. I think so. I think so. Okay. We'll see in a minute. Okay. Just a minute, let me verify that the, the last group is ready. Okay. Places where the employees can play video games or something like that. But I consider that is because they are under pressure, maybe, and they the need pressure. to and they need to to get out get out of of herself that that feeling like yes but uh, in the call centers i think there are a lot of millennials so they need those things i i imagine in in a call center someday somebody uh, can get out the, the gun and kill a, a lot of them then <laughs> the partner <laughs> Because the pressure maybe is is bigger than the other in other places. I don't know. I I can I never work in a call center, but but I imagine they had to to be sit in the in the desk and ask for for resolving issues about. Uh, people that they don't know. Uh, I don't know. To has to has employee has the uh, uh, the bonus too for his uh, uh, early the teacher. Eh? Yes. Eh, eh, ¿cómo es? Llegan temprano. When... People show up early. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. Yes, many people. Is there on time to get a bonus for attendance? So mm -hmm. if you show on time, you are never late. At the end of the month, they give you a bonus. Yes, but what about the stress? You need to mental health. Stress. You need a mental <laughs> mental health day or what? <laughs> That's a <laughs> stereotype. <laughs> It's a question, teacher. There are mental health in a call center. Is there mental health issues? Are there mental health issues? <laughs> There's always weird people every everywhere. Everywhere you find weird people everywhere. But yeah, is it stressful sure. or not? And after the years, you get used to. You get used to, and the job is easier. Just, just like in any other place. I mean, if you are a mechanic at the beginning, just changing the, I don't know, the spark plugs will be difficult for you, and you will be stressed. The same happens with call centers. At the beginning, the, the first years, you get stressed because you don't, you cannot go to the bathroom. You take one call. And then ring, next one, ring, next one, ring, next one. So the whole day. And that's the problem. That's what is stressing. But at the end of the day, you get good paid and you forget about the stress. But I consider when you are younger, that is good, but yes. When you get older, mm -hmm. that is so heavy to yeah, I start I'm starting to feel that my job is heavy, but I am I am used to the stress. That's for sure. So I forget about it later on and that's it. Okay. okay. Good job. It's time to go. Let's continue. Let's go back.
Okay, let's just wait for the others. There we go. How many are we now? 11? Hmm. Yep, we are 11, 12. Well, with me. Okay, so was it interesting? Five ways millennials impact the, the, the workforce, I mean, the workplace. So let me just go through the first, the introduction. As the baby boomers retire, generate generation, actually, you cannot read that like, like that. As the baby boomers retire, Gen Xers, Gen Xers and millennials are becoming the new face of company management and business practices. Millennials have had a profound influence on the way work is done and business is conducted conducted all over the world from shorter work hours and less unpaid over time to company perks like free gym memberships in office snack bars and even nap pods to help boost productivity during daytime work hours. So you can work anywhere around the world if you want. It's okay, but do your job. That's all. It's okay. Number two, you know what? I remember when I worked at Dell, Dell Computers, in that that was my second call center. They used to I mean, you were, imagine yourself, you're working and, and you hear the noise. And suddenly you hear a bell. Ding, ding, ding. There's this guy with a cart giving you an ice cream. And then you get your boss. Hey, pause, go to break, go to break, five minutes, eat your, eat your ice cream. They're like, okay, cool. Or suddenly somebody tells you, hey, here is a ticket. This is for a soda and a chori. Soda and chori on the seventh floor. Go to the seventh floor. Okay. And then, hey, pizza party. Oh, my God. One day you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, why did this happen, right? <laughs> and that's true. That's real life. Okay, so you tell me, what did you understand for transparency? Transparency in the workplace? Is it trans transpire? No, what is it? Explain me, please. Uh, millennials, um, they, for, for they, is important all people in the company know no mission vision and a process and all the company everybody to be on the same page connected it I understand. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That that's okay. Great job. Uh, okay, so it's like, you know what, uh, Manuel, um, your new boss is Norma. Norma is your new boss. You go like I I have worked here for three years, and she just she just started three months ago. Manuel, yo, uh, three three years ago. Norma, three months ago. Wait, and she's my boss? What happens here, right? Mm -hmm. Transparency? Uh, I think it's, it's a bad way to, to, to give a new boss because uh, uh, maybe it's a, <laughs> it's a, girlfriend of of the of the boss manager. and that and that happens <laughs> not normal it's an example <laughs> i was like oh my god my husband is gonna kill me <laughs> <laughs> no this happens a lot in call centers that's very common 
the most beautiful girl, supervisor. <laughs> that. And nowadays, sure now, nowadays, the the guy, the man with the yellow hair or red hair, and you know, dressing like a woman, supervisor. So yeah, that happens as well a lot, a lot. Okay, so transparency refers to that, right? They love transparency. Um, I liked a word on this excerpt, blindsided. And no one is blindsided by, by change. No one is blindsided by change. That's a new, well, it's not a new word for me, but I kind of never use it. No one is blindsided. It's like left behind. Dejado un punto ciego. O sea, nadie se hace del ojo pacho, nadie. Okay, we all understand. Okay, number two. Thank you, Wendy. Awesome. The remote workplace phenomena. Oh, the remote workplace phenomena. It's not phenomenon, phenomena. Phenomena. Uh huh. What does that refer to? Teacher, uh, like uh, for instance, after the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, in in my my job, uh, the most of my uh, co-workers uh, they are working uh, remote um, nowadays the the managers the um, the bosses uh, they think uh, it is no it is not necessary uh, to return to the return to the office and they think is more effective work at home and visit the, 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 the client for sure but not necessary to be in a in an office it's not necessary uh, to be in an office well being in an office, it depends, right? I'm in an office right now. I'm in my inside my room. I I actually killed. I killed the closet. There was a closet. You become you become your your. Uh, your I home made, or your bedroom. I, I a, modified exactly. I modified yes. part of my bedroom. Yes. Because I removed the closet. It was a wooden closet, so I removed it. No, no, no me he levantado. Ay, no, perdón. Es que... <laughs> Ajá. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Mira, y yo la vi que venía desde ah, el pasillo caminando. En chivo ese efecto. Uh, y apareció. Ok. So... <laughs> ok. And, and that's that. It's an office. Yeah, but working from home, Manuel, is the best. I mean, truly especially for call centers because in the call center you had all the noise yes. and here no noise very quiet very yes. quiet yes. there there's echo sometimes you know yes. there's a little bit of the, echo. The, when the dog how do you say ladra owls oh no when he owls uh Ooh. sometimes he barks sometimes he owls <laughs> or they smell your knees <laughs> man yeah that's awful okay let's go with number four or oh, no number three the remote workplace phenomena experience over degrees interesting <laughs> very interesting and that's why I started this class asking, asking Jorge you know because Jorge's area of expertise is one of the few that really requires a degree, right, Jorge? You, you need to be an engineer 
to be in these projects. You know, it's not easy. It's necessary. Yeah. But uh, like a owner, maybe because if you are in the constructor, is is other kind of work. Of course. No, but if you're managing the project, is I mean, you cannot have a millennial there. I'm, I'm, I'm the opportunity to be part of them, but actually there are many, many co-workers, uh, many uh -huh. co-workers that uh, management more manage the the whole project. Mm. Not not just just I. Not not only me. Repeat. Not not, not only me. Uh, okay, not only me. Okay. Not just, no, just me. I... Not only, not only, not only me. Not, uh, not only me. Better. Yeah, not only me. It's not just me. It's not just me. It's not just me. Not just me. It's not just me. Not okay, me. great. So sometimes you have people with experience. Sometimes you have people with degrees. I have degrees. The guy who stole in a hundred dollars from me has experience. Yeah, that that's the truth. There's a difference. Oh my god, yeah. So, and it talks about management management positions, right? My the boss of my boss. Oh, by the way, my boss in the call center, she is twenty four. Or I think 28, something like that. She's my boss. And her boss is this reventated guy who likes to drink, party, you know, and everything. But at the job, he's very serious. I mean, not congruent, right? Not very congruent. Okay. Something positive as well. Work-life balance. Really quick, Chrissy work-life balance i think about the work-life balance uh, well as as i told to my classmates um i i share with them that i'm considered i'm uh, about myself i'm considered in the middle of millennials and in my thinking is in i don't know I, at the end of the the Leo. last generation yes uh -huh. because uh, always we want to make to make a, a good balance with our life but we need to work and, and in my case i work hard i i don't want to to make my things easy uh, so if i need to work a lot i work a lot i don't tell my my boss no i i can go to the i i want to go to the gym i can't do my do 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 that do that i don't know do that assign um but i think all the millennials right now nowadays uh, they prefer the uh, comfortable and they prefer to do uh i don't know the easy ways for do uh, everything and they want to to go to go to do another activities. Other activities, out, uh huh. Other other activities, uh, out of the 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 office. I don't know. And they and they want to the this balance, but I think not all the millennials want can 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 do this balance. Can have this balance, yeah. I have a life, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> didn't get it. That, that's the response. That's the response from employees yes, I, nowadays. Hey, Rodriguez, I want you to stay for three hours. Okay, we need you. We really, the company needs you. I have a life. Sorry, my shift is over. Hey, boss, I work. I work to live. <laughs> I work to live. I don't live. I don't like to work. <laughs> I don't like to work. Exactly. I like that phrase. It's true. I mean, <laughs> yes. If, if you leave to work, it should be. This should be a statement. Work to life. 
work to leave work to leave work to leave yeah not not don't leave to work exactly it's very difficult to achieve that balance you know and lastly we talked about it yesterday technology i mean as i explained to you before we adapted to the internet we adapted to the computers but i'm concerned i'll be honest with you i'm concerned about my kids generation because they they already adapted to in the internet but there's new technology coming no sé si lo sabían pero el tipo que se inventó los celulares pensó en que quería su meta era que todo humano tuviese un chip en la cabeza para comunicarse that was the goal so he built the first cell phone it was a suitcase the battery was a suitcase and the cell phone then it went smaller and smaller and smaller and now you can find okay. cell phones you can find cell phones very very small cell phones but we're getting there now we have the multi multiverse no wait a minute the metaverse right is it metaverse with the facebook. metaverse with facebook and he's he's achieving it he yes. will he will achieve it and now we have god's party call now we will be able to travel to the speed of light i mean yeah right i mean my kids your kids most likely we'll see that the world's changing and but but i don't like it i don't know i don't know because they will miss humanity will miss many things you know the interaction between humans i will prefer to be live with you in a classroom you know not virtually así los estaría regañando si los estuviera enfrente no tendría que estarle diciendo carlos enciende la cámara diana enciende la cámara ya Okay, I said, no se duerma, Diana. Okay, for example, right? Okay, guys, that's it. Um, I stood with who last time? I don't remember. Was it Diana? No, Mario, Mario, right? I stood with Mario. Villeda, uh, Nelson is not here. Mario, too. Let's see, this is difficult. Uh, Norma Carolina, do you have 10 minutes for me? Yes, the chat. Excellent. Good job. Okay, guys, tomorrow is Saturday. No se les olvide completar la plataforma. Solo nos quedan seis días. Voy en cuenta regresiva ya para terminar este módulo. Entonces, solo es la otra semana y el lunes de la siguiente. And that's it. Okay. Eh, so, buzos con la plataforma. Hay que terminarla lo más pronto posible. Okay. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Yeah, good night. Good night. Thank you. Cristian Natalie Razo Rogel. Present teacher and good night. Good night. Go to bed. Yes. Hey, <laughs> Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Diana, say good night. Oh my God. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. He wasn't with us today, tonight. Jorge Humberto Velafunes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. He was here before. Okay. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher, good night. Good, good night. night. <laughs> <laughs> María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Good night. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present teacher. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Good night, teacher. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleto Ochoa. Present teacher. Good night. Blessings. Good night. Have blessings. Good weekend. Same to you. Um, okay, Norma, how are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Why are you so quiet during the class? Uh, it's very difficult for me, teacher. Yeah. I, me cuesta mucho armar oraciones. 
No, don't say that. You just made a great sentence. It's very difficult for me. Perfect. That's it. Um, so, but in reality, I mean, is it because you don't want to speak? It's difficult for you to, to express your ideas? Yes, express ideas. But how do you know? I don't know if it's difficult. Se me vienen a la mente muchas, muchas palabras, teacher, y, y me cuesta. Y sabe que yo cuando le escucho hablar me quedo, ella ha estudiado inglés antes. Yo tengo oído para eso, créanme. Eh, so, eh, mi punto es, hay que hablar en la clase porque necesito saber dónde estamos parados para ir viendo qué es lo que hay que hacer. Eso es muy importante. Y cuénteme, cuénteme, ¿qué está haciendo aparte de las dos horas de clase? ¿Está um, practicando alguna otra cosa? Este, vuelvo a ver los videos, teacher, porque ese también tengo otro problemita, que vengo bien tarde o, o a veces me cuesta conectarme. Entonces lo que hago es re, revisar otra vez el, el video y uh -huh. ir tomando notas. Y con lo del texto del libro. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo se siente con esto? ¿Se siente que va avanzando y le hace falta? No, me hace falta un montón. Ok. Está bien apretada en su horario, supongo. Fíjese que más que todo por el trayecto. Porque yo salgo a las cinco y media. Y antes me quedaba bien chévere venir hasta mi casa. Uh -huh. Pero ahora sí ya me está tomando casi tres horas en venir. Y a veces me agarran el camino. Dios no, mío, eso... ya he estado de trabajo. Allá en el Maferrer, ¿dónde es el Maferrer? Ajá. Y, y yo vivo en Tonacatepeque. Tonacatepeque, soy a Tango. De Apopa. No, adelante de Apopa por la troncal del norte. Ayer ah, ese fue otro ya. problema. Que ayer cerraron la calle por un incendio y por me quedé a media, a media clase. Entonces, siento que eso es lo que más se me está dificultando. No es excusa, Tiche, pero igual. No, no, no. Lo que pasa es que no me imagino pasar tanto tiempo en el tráfico, Dios mío. Qué feo. Mi esposa viene de los planes y si se tarda como una hora más o menos, desde los planes hasta mexicanos, o sea, no es. No, si un horario. Es que todo normal, depende de. No sé. No, ella sale a las cinco. Usted sale a las cinco y media. Y media, la hora del mayor tiempo. ¿Sabe cuál no es, es el problema también? Aparte del tráfico, están, si yo me vengo por el lado de Constitución, están haciendo un, un subdesnivel. Sí, nivel. sí. Uh -huh. Aunque lo agarre por el lado de la carretera de oro, siempre se topa con eso. Uh -huh. Por el lado de Nejapa. Dios mío. Sí, Igual, dicho, yo sé que tengo que, que poner más de mi parte. Pues, porque Mire, sí, y no, se no tiene Waze, Norma. Sí. Ah, y Waze por ahí la tira por ese lado. Sí, incluso Porque hay otra, yo salgo... hay otra ruta por la 29, ¿verdad? Por, por el inframen. 29, pero el inframen no le aconsejo más a esas horas pico. Todo ese pedacito a veces se puede tardar media hora en pasar. Híjole, es bueno. Es mejor a veces venirse por, por acá, por Constitución. Bueno, bueno. Yo sé, es bien difícil, la verdad. Y entra súper temprano, me imagino. Fíjese que entro a las 8. Igual, Bastante tráfico. Temprano. No, pues sí, ya ahora es lo normal. Así que bueno. Igual tengo que, que ver una alternativa, teacher. Primero Dios, ya al dejar la calle bien, ya se calma todo esto, ¿verdad? Sí, no sé. ojalá que sí. Ojalá ¿Y su sí. trabajo no puede ser remoto? No, tengo que estar presente. Wow. Veo ahí, estoy en okay. facturaciones, estoy en inventario, estoy en despacho, mm. de todo un poquito. Ok. So, what, what do you do? Where do you work? It's a furniture. Ratam Home. Ratam Home Furniture. Eh, Redondelma Ferrer. Redondelma Ferrer, ok. How many years have you lived there? How many, how many years have you worked there? Ah, 15 years. 15 years. Okay. Yes. And have you always lived in 
A popa? Tona que te pegue. 45 years. I have lived in Tonantes Catepec for time. 45 years, all my life. Really? Um, you were you were born there? Were, sorry, were you born in Tonacatepeque? Yes, I, I come in baby. All time I live in Tonacatepeque. Wow. That's awesome. That's really nice. Okay. Uh, but I think Santa Ana will be closer. <laughs> but it's just leaving your home is difficult. It is difficult. Right. Well, okay, but do you enjoy your job? Yes, I enjoy my 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 job. It's very interesting. Um I I learning um the todo un poco teacher. A little bit of everything. I'm learning a little bit of everything. Okay, that's really good. Well, as long as you like what you do, that's fine. Now, hmm, I think it's too difficult for you, you know. Maybe on weekends, you could um, do some time, you know. What I will... And Sunday, and Sunday you're, for me. You're driving, uh, right? Yes, but so, uh, uh, sometimes I go in um, my purpose, uh, mini bus. I go by, by bus. You go by bus. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I was about to suggest you to listen to Ron Chan audios. Ron mm -hmm. Chan audios. Eh, los audios de Ron Chan que envié ayer en el WhatsApp. Okay. Sí, ese index. Agarre un audio por semana. Y véngalo escuchando y repitiendo. Escuchando y repitiendo. Eso va a ayudar mucho la articulación. Ok. okay. okay. Thank you. Well, have some rest. Thank you. Que descanse mucho, Norma. Good night. Gracias por su paciencia, Tichek. You're welcome. It's okay. Bye, bye. Okay. Bye, Tichek.